I'd like to take time to talk about a phenomenon that we're seeing out here and getting a lot of phone calls on, and that's this buggy whipping, twisted up corn, and uh, people asking, is it herbicide damage, and what could it what could it be? And what you're actually looking at is you know, what some people call the twisted corn syndrome or rapid growth syndrome. And this corn here is just coming into V6. That's typically when it takes place, and the rapid growth stage is about to initiate. It seems to follow swings in temperature. So when we go from a nice growing period, drop those temperatures back down, bring them back up, drop them back down. That kind of yo-yo effect in temperature seems to trigger it typically. And what you're going to see is the whirls will be wrapped up tight, almost kind of sticky. Uh, it'll have a buggy whipped appearance to them. Going to look a lot like 2,4-D damage or uh, some type of dicamba damage, something like that that would have got down in the world. The corn's also going to be kind of limp, so it's going to going to lay the direction of the wind. So you'd see the fields tilted in whatever direction the wind was blowing that night before within itself, kind of a ropey type feeling within the corn itself. And this is all triggered to changes in the environment around the corn plant itself. Now eventually, um, these whirls can wrap up pretty tight. In this case, we're at V5 coming into V6. It could last for three growth stages, so it could create some pretty unusual-looking corn out there in the field itself. It's definitely hybrid-related, as this particular hybrid we're in here right now. Almost every plant is showing it, where the next hybrid may not show it at all, or just a scattered few within it itself. Eventually, as this continues to grow, the whirl will come unwrapped. It'll pop out through here, so it'll be tied at this end, and the, then the whirl will break out in, in here itself. And when it breaks out of here, it's going to be very bright yellow. So you'll look across the field probably next week, and you're going to start to see yellow or blonde tops scattered throughout the field, and that's this corn as it's breaking out itself. Now, I've tracked this over the years and tried to flag these and see what effect it actually has on ear development. doesn't seem to affect the ear development very much, and I assume that's because the corn's growing fast, and that's some of the trouble itself. But for all reality, uh, it's, not a, it's more cosmetic right now than it actually is. Now, don't mistake this for herbicide damage, because if you see only this in your uh, lap zones, backed in your corners, that type of thing, it could be 2,4-D or, or dicamba sensitivity to the hybrid that you're planting itself. But as a general rule, um, you're going to see it in a year like this where you may not see it in the same hybrid next year when we don't have such cycles from uh, 75, 80 degree days to 35, 40 uh, degree nights. That type of cycling is what's causing it. So pretty much cosmetic, but I want you to be aware of it.